started the speech, as I told you before, that um, in speech has two parties, one speaking and one listening, speaker and listener. If the word, this or if the speech goes from the speaker to the listener directly, without in between, this is called the direct speech. Like I'm talking to you now, you are listening to me and I'm talking to you, I'm the speaker, you are the listener, this is direct. But if I tell someone to give you my words, so this is the indirect or reported. Reported speech means the indirect speech. So indirect, indirect speech, this is, this is the real speech of someone talking to the speaker, but not directly through in between. I say, for example, so I tell Hana to send me unit, for example, 15. So these are my words, I'm the speaker, but who tells, not me. So I said, so this, this is indirect speech from the speaker to the listener, but through in between, one in between, between the speaker and the listener. This is what we mean by reported, okay? So reported is the same idea as, um, as indirect. We have many types, we have many types of reported speech. We have a statement, we have number one, we have a statement to change into reported statement. We have number two questions to change into reported speech. And then we have orders to change into reported speech. We have orders also, and I will see if he gets you other. And we have orders or even between brackets requests because there is a light difference between them. To change into reported speech. So a statement means what? A statement, a statement means a sentence that starts with subject for, oh my God. Statement means a sentence that starts with a subject, then a verb, then a verb, then an object, then an object. Sentence, subject, verb, object. A question is a kind of sentence that starts with a helping verb or a question word like what, when, where, like what, or when, or where, or whatever. Question words, or start with the helping verb like do, does, with it. And orders, these are instructions using the imperatives of the verbs. And I will give you them step by step. Here, number three, imperatives. Number three, we have imperatives. Imperatives is the same as orders. Uh, we can say to somewhat the same as the requests. We'll move to the first part. We'll move to the first kind statement. And how can we change a statement into reported speech? Number one, we have the statement. Any sentence starts with a subject, verb, object is called a statement. How do we start this kind of questions? We say, for example, the teacher said, the teacher, and the concentrate will. Here we have a lot of words, a lot of speech to be said. So concentrate well, a lot of changes must be kept by heart here in order to be able to change a statement into reported. So concentrate well within the first part. With the, the teacher said, for example. And then we have a speech markers, or we can say, these are the inverted commas or one comma, or even maybe a bracket like that, maybe a hyphen like that, to put the real words of the speaker within. The teacher said, I will, I will, Give you, give you an exam tomorrow. So these are the real words of the teacher. Uh, close the speech markers, close them, the commas, and change into reported speech here. What is needed here? Report. The question goes like this. Report. How can we change a statement like this into report or into indirect speech? 
I will tell you. First, we have two sentences. We have two statements, one outside the speech markers the teacher said, and not complete, of course. And the second, the inside, I will give you an exam tomorrow. So we have to change, we have to relate the two sentences and we have some changes with the sentence to be done. For example, oh, the first thing, the teacher said it the same. The teacher said, it's the same, no change here. And I will tell you when, when we can change. This is a statement, start with the subject. So we get, we get a relating word, a joining word, which is optional here. That's why I will put between brackets that. That here is optional. I mean, you can use or don't use. If you use, you have a complete statement. If you don't use, it is complete, it is comprehended, and you can take the full mark also. So the teacher said that we come inside to change some pronouns must be changed. The verb must be changed in some cases. And also we have some time words or some adverbs to be changed within the sentence. I hear related to the teacher. So the teacher, that's me, for example, that she. Change from I into she, because I say, the teacher said that she, not the teacher is not talking now, I'm talking instead of her. She, and they come to the verb will. The verb will is in the first form, verb one. And we have outside said, the teacher said, said is verb two. So change the, change the, tense inside, or it changes the verbs inside. So will becomes what? Second form. From first form to second form, from verb one to verb one, to verb two, from will to what? Whether we have will or what, they must be followed by verbs in front of, so we have give. You here related to the pupils, or related to me. So you can say will give me, or will give us will give me if I talk about myself for just one, or will give us if we talk about our, all of us as a class. So will give us an exam, no change. An exam, no change. And to come to the word tomorrow. Tomorrow is one adverb that should, should be changed into the following day, the following, the following day, or the day after the following day or the day after. So close with a full stop like this. So the teacher said that she would give us an exam uh, the following day or the day after. So this is a complete change of the sentence. Uh, you understand? You understand what I have done here? I will wait to try. We'll move to the changes, the changes with the sentence. Um, we have a lot of changes with the sentence and we have to say, number one, if we have outside, you see the teacher, the mother, whatever, whoever is speaking outside the, the, the speech markers, we have the verb say. If we have the verb say, or even we have says like this, no change with the verb will say, say or says, no change. And if we have said also in the past form, it will have no change, it will be said also at the same time. But if we have a preposition, like say to, say to will change into tell, another verb, tell. And it says to will change into tells, like this. And it said to, will it change into told like this? So this is the verb outside. The verb outside, if we have say, says, said, write the same, no change. But if we have say to, if we have, if we have a preposition to, and then we have an object, say to me, say to the pupils, say to the teacher, say to the pupils, we have a preposition too, and then we have we have an object after the preposition. So we have to change here the form of the verb from say to to tell, from says to to tells, from said to to told. This is the first step outside. Got me? You got me? Yes. Okay. Move to the second part. How do we relate? I said, how do we relate? How do we join the ideas? 
We join the ideas using what? A linking word, the linking, the, what? What is the linking word here? What is the relation here, relation word, or the relating word? We have that, and that, as I said, that is optional to be put or not. It's up to you. It is understood and not important to be added, not important to be added. So we have to relate the two sentences outside and inside. As long as this is the statement, use the word that, okay? Move to the changes of the pronouns. We have changed the pronoun I uh, into she. So what are the changes with the pronouns? I will tell you. Pronouns, according to the meaning of the pronoun, we are going to change its form. Pronouns. What does it, the pronoun refer to? Pronoun. What did the pronoun refer to? Look, if we have, for example, I. So maybe he is speaking, maybe she, maybe you. According to the meaning of the pronoun, you change it. And then we have you. Look at the meaning also of I said. What does the pronoun refer to? It may refer to you, may refer to we. May refer to they, may refer to I, according to the meaning. And then we have he, she, third person pronouns, he, she, um, and they, no change within, no change become the same because these are third person pronouns. And then if we have we, change we into they, change we into they. And then uh, if we have some adjectives, some adjectives, possessive adjectives like my, for example, maybe change into his or her, change into his or her. If we have your, may change into uh, your the same or their, their or yes. there or uh, or mm, my according to the meaning of the pronoun what does the pronoun refer to and they change it and these are adjectives the possessive adjectives so if we have there there it will be the same there no change there and if we have our our, it will be changed into there. This is after changing into the reported speech. So this is for the, this is for the pronouns and the some possessive adjectives with the sentence. We still, we're still with the changes of the sentence in the report and we come to the verbs. This is most important to hear. The tense inside should be changed only. We change. The tense of the verb, we change from present to past, for example, only of the verb if the verb outside is in the past form. So if you have say, says outside, say to or says to, we cannot change the verb inside. We cannot change the verb inside. So we change, we can say, this is a very important note here. We only change, we only change the verb inside verb inside only when when the outside one outside one is in the past form is in the past form so if we have said outside, if we have said, not say, not says, if we have said outside. And let me give you some examples. If we have, the verb is always changed 
into a further form. So change from verb one into verb two, from present symbol into past symbol, from verb one into verb two, from present symbol into past symbol, present into past. Like lock will be locked, like show it will be showed, like for example, read it will be read, uh, watch it will be watched, like that. So we have watch, for example, like this, watch it. Okay. A second change, if we have verb two, if we have put symbol, verb two, what happened? It remains the same verb two or, or it is better to change it into head plus verb three, that's past perfect, head plus verb three. So if we have a second form of a verb, like for example, watch it, the one up. Will it stay the same, watch it, past symbol? Or even change it into past perfect, that's head plus the past participle, head plus the past participle pp, or form three or verb three of the verb. So if you have a second form of a verb, change it into verb two, the same verb two or head plus verb three. So if we had if we have head plus verb three, it's still the same head plus verb three, the same. And if we have am or is, look at am um, or is, change it into was. So if we have or, change it into where. And if we have was where, was, or even where. Form three, had plus the past participle, had been, or been, as you wanted to pronounce it, had been or had been. So if we have, I give you this because this is an irregular verb to notice. So if we have was or were, change into was or were, again, change into had plus verb three, had been, had, been or had been. This is for this is for some verbs. We still have the um, present continuous, present continuous that is am or is or are plus verb plus ing plus ing change it into was or where that is the past continuous was or where where plus um, the verb ing form. So from am watching to was watching or is watching uh, or um, from are watching into were watching, for example. From am is are or verb plus ing present continuous change into past continuous that is was or where and the verb plus ing. Up to now you understand? Up to now, you get my idea? Yeah. We follow. So move to, if we have past continuous, we say from M is R, present to continuous into past continuous. If we have past continuous, if we have was or were, was or were plus, uh, plus verb ing, no change. Keep the same, no change. Plus verb ing, keep was or were plus verb i in g like if we have past perfect head plus verb three is still the same head plus verb three but still we have if we have present perfect have or has have or has plus uh past participle change into head plus past participle head and this is a must here plus the past participle. From present perfect into past perfect. From present perfect have or has plus a past participle into past perfect that's had plus the past participle. So these are some words. So we have also some models. Models like what? Like uh, for example, will. Change will into, huh? Expect change will into what? When we have will, change into what? Huh? Try to guess. Will change into the past form of will that is would. If we have will change into what? So if we have, and if we have can change into could, 
uh, sorry, could. And if we have shall, rarely you see this verb change into should. And if we have uh, may, change into might. So if we have auto, auto, out to, no change because it doesn't have a past form. No change, it will stay the same, O2. Uh, I will complete here again with O2. We have, if we have O2, no change with the verb, it will be the same O2 because it doesn't have a past form. But if we have must, must, you may keep must as it is or change it into had to had to or must have plus the, the past participle easy for you to say had to or to change into had to must change into had to so these are some some changes with the verb we change the verb tense into a further form from present symbol to past symbol from past symbol to past perfect or best symbol, they say, present continuous to past continuous, and past continuous is still the same. Models from well to would, can to could, shall to should, may to might, must into had to. If we have a verb like do change into dead, if we have did change into had done, if we have verb like have or has change into had, and if we have had, it will be had, had, had plus participle of the same verb, if it is the main verb of the sentence, like that. So these are the changes within the sentence. Okay. Okay, up to now, you understand? These are the verbs. Still, we have some time words, some adverbs of time to change. You understand up to now? Yeah. Okay. So we have, we have some time words. We have some time adverbs of time, adverbs. Adverbs of time, of time like what? Okay. Like what? I will tell you. For example, if we have a word like today, today, change today into that day, that day. If we have a word like tomorrow, change tomorrow into the next or the following day, or the day after. The following, as I have done a short time before, the following day, or the day after, or the follow, or the next day. So you have the following, the word, the following, change into the next. The following, this, change into the next. Next. And if we have, for example, a word like now, change now into then. Okay. And if we have yesterday, yesterday, change yesterday into the day before, the day, the day before. And uh, if we have before the word before, change it into ago, ago. So we have some time word is today, tomorrow. And also we have next, we have now to change into then yesterday to the day before and before into a gone. We have some, some other pronouns, uh, like for example, if I say here, the word here change into there, here. Here is my, here is my watch that there was her watch. Her change, here change into there, and um, this, this change into that. So you have these change into those. So we have also this, that, these, those here, there, and uh, whatever, what uh, I think this is all, these are all. Do we have any extra, any added information? I will give you during our, during the answers of some questions. So these are the changes with the sentence when we change from direct into indirect. 
when we change from direct speech into reported speech, this is the first case only, the statement. So you have some exercises in the book? You have some exercises in the book? Tell me, you have some? Yes, we do. Um, MCQ? Choice? I mean, choice questions? I don't yeah, yeah. Which page can you can you send me now? Sixty seven. La now la mm. applicable so, or now la sixty seven. Sixty seven and what also? Yeah. Sixty seven and sixty eight and sixty nine. Okay. So let's 68 as homework, 67 and 68 as homework. And would you please send them to me if you are able after that, when you are able. Okay? 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 Okay, okay. I can't. You can okay, thank you. Can you listen and name a mine as you must offer be a little if it has a root? Lujain. So, hi, Lujain. Send me the pages 68, 69, and 70. And these are homework 68, 79, 68, 69, enough homework. Send them to me, please. Today, answer your homework and send me on our Telegram group. And I have to close now because we have 10 minutes from the first class. I have to close now and open for you all. Okay? Okay? No one is answering. Okay. okay.